What's up everybody, Frank AZ HP Collectibles here with another card show pickups and walkthrough video. Uh, I went to the Spring Training Spectacular Arizona State Card Show held by Collectibles on College in downtown Phoenix. Uh, that was on March 25th and 26th. I went on both Saturday and Sunday. I wasn't expecting to go on Sunday, but I had made a few deals and there was something I needed to pick up as well. So I said, why not? I will pay for parking again and pay for a ticket again and go one more time. Um, I, I'm just gonna let you know ahead of time, if you're new to this channel, this, this, the length of this video is not the norm. This will be a very long video because I just got a ton, an absolute ton of pickups. Uh, and I also did a walkthrough that is fairly long as well because it's a very, very big show. Um, I was going to do my video on Saturday when it was very busy. Uh, I had just, I spent so much time looking around and doing pickups that I, and I, by the end of the sat day on Saturday, I knew I was going to come back on Sunday anyway. I said, okay, I'll get a, I'll get a video on Sunday. And I ended up getting us, uh, the video on Sunday about an hour before the show closed. So some vendors were still packed up. Um, and not only that, but it was just, it was so big that it, it was hard for me to go down every single little aisle. You know, it was set as a big square. Uh, rows down the middle, both vertical and horizontal. I tried to kind of do the outside ring and then hit a couple of the rows and kind of peek through some of the rows. I will show the walkthrough video uh, before we get started with my pickups. So those of you who want to watch that, you can watch that. You don't have to watch my pickups. Or if you just want to see my pickups, you don't want to see the show, whatever. Down in the description and on the bottom of the uh, the timeline, um, I will have it all kind of gapped out for, for sections for you to, to skip around to various points. So uh, let's let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you the walkthrough of the video first. And, um, and when I come back, I'll do the pickups. See you soon. Fire. 
I don't know if I caught that or not. That's a P sign, not the P. No, I, I, well, I know that. I know that. <laughs> What's the grand prize? I got really I had to do hours at work this morning so I couldn't go through my cards to bring stuff. I know I said I was going to yesterday, but I'll just have to ship stuff in instead. What's up, man? You had to you had to get in the video, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, pretty face. What can I say? Right? <laughs>
going all right? What's up? Hi, Frank. I didn't get you eating this sure. time. <laughs> oh, I got a son eating instead. I hear you, Buzz. All right, welcome back. Hopefully, you enjoyed that video of uh, the the walkthrough of the event. Uh, let's let's go ahead and jump into pickups. Let me get these. Uh, let me get some of this stuff out of the way over here. Let's do background real quick and get started. Background. Um, I I, <laughs> I just hit my McFarland's box and pulled out the first toys that I could find. And I had a bag of two Emmett Smiths. So I said, all right, I'm going to do Emmett Smith. Why not? Uh, <laughs> so I got the Series One Dirty McFarland. Uh, Emmett Smith. I'm pretty sure that's series one, which was 2000, roughly 2001. Uh, and then I have my, the three Emmett Smith cards, 90 tops traded rookie PSA eight, 91 second year PSA eight, 
and then 95 I don't have a 92 93 or 94 including parallels graded I have a couple of them raw I believe but the 95 tops is the Panthers inaugural which was out of the Panthers box set Panthers and Jaguars box sets from 95 were uh, limited to 4,000 sets total uh, so that's pretty cool PSA 9 there and then a Arizona Cardinals Emmett Smith McFarland, which I don't remember offhand what series that was. I open all my McFarlands, and I think I'm going to start putting more of them in the background, just because I think they're really cool. Uh, although I, it's a little wide, so I might have to cut it out part of it for 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 the vid. So um, either way, let's let's go ahead and get started. I did separate everything from different dealers. Overwhelming majority here is going to be football and basketball. I got a little bit of wrestling, a little bit of Formula One. Um, I don't, I got one baseball, I think I got one baseball card and that's it. Uh, didn't get any hockey that I, that I remember. So, uh, at least you know what to expect. So I'm going to start off, uh, you know what, I'm going to start off with this. This is a banger right away. Um, Eric from Grimy Mitt Sports Cards, who in my last card show video at the Northwest Valley Queen and Card Show, which I did a video on, he hooked me up with a great deal on some slabs. Uh, of, of, of graded Hall of Famer stuff. Uh, it was Deion Sanders, Larry Zonka's, whole bunch, I think it was mostly Hall of Famer football. He had one more that I liked and he had it reasonable price. Since he gave me a great deal at the last show, I said, hey, I'll buy that at full price, um, but you gotta save it for me for the next show because I only had so much on me. And he, he did. So, and I know, sorry, long story here. Um, then on my way out on Saturday, I saw a gentleman who was selling a bunch of wax uh, I did buy some hockey actually from him. It was not not from him, but some other guy. 9192 OPG, two boxes, um, both boxes for 15 bucks. He said 50% off all wax. He had two boxes, they were 15 a piece. So I bought them. Stopped over at, uh, at Eric's booth to pick up this card. He wasn't there, he was outside. I went upstairs, I went outside to see him. I knew I was coming back the next day anyway. And he's like, oh, cool boxes. Um, I'll take both of those boxes for the for the card, and I was like, okay, sure. So I'm pretty sure I was gonna buy the card for 25 bucks, bought two boxes of cards for 15, and then traded those and got the card. So I got a Hal Greer Hall of Fame PSA graded huge slab here. Size difference for those of you who don't know any better. Um, 69, 70 tops. Very, very happy to have a Hal Greer rookie in the collection hall of famer very cool all right moving on so big shout outs once again eric myers over at grimy mitts good job my dude thank you um all right next up this stuff is from mike stoltz that's his instagram m stoltz 16 um sat, uh, sunday he had a box that was i think it was previously like 10 for a dollar or a dollar each or something. And he just marked them 50 for a dollar just to get rid of them. I I gave him more than than that and I didn't pick out 50, but here's my stack. So um, these aren't really in too much order. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip through them. Uh, some is optic, some is tops, but OBJ, some thousand yard clubs, nothing special. Uh, lots of optic, Von Miller, Diggs, a 92 tops gold, random. Um, Darius Leonard, Keenan Allen, J.J. Watt, Gronk, Godwin, Parker, a rookie of Andrew Thomas, uh, Bosa, Kelsey, Jacobs, Crosby, Waller, Gilmore, D.J. Moore, Jordan Brooks, another 1,000-yard club, 1990, uh, Michael Thomas, Kamara, Colston. That was the raw stuff. Um, he had one pack of Chrome OTE which I still have a hobby box stashed over here somewhere. I'm, I'm trying to figure out whether I should open it or not or whether I should just keep it sealed. But uh, I did crack it while I was there. I did not pull anything significant, <laughs> but whatever, four base cards, OTE, I will stash them and who knows, maybe one of these guys will be good. Uh, and then these are the slabs that I got from him. Um, I typically wouldn't do this set but we got a good old Rocky Maivia and Owen Hart from 97 Panini stickers. Yes, it was five bucks. It was kind of hard to say no to a 1997 The Rock card. 
Uh, yeah, it's a PSA 5. I don't care. It was five bucks. I don't know whether that's going to go in my personal collection or not, but it was too cool for me to pass up. Um, my first graded optic card on this channel, I believe, because I haven't, I, I don't believe I've had a, a graded optic card that's been released on the video, on the, on the channel. I do have a couple on the way that I will get at some point soon. Uh, but Kawhi Leonard from 2018-19, PSA 9, uh, very cool. And this, this is probably my favorite pickup of the entire show. Good old Road Warriors, Legion of Doom. 1986 Monty Gum, I have no idea. Uh, wrestling Stars hand cut. So no back, it's just a hand cut card submitted to PSA. My all time favorite tag team, what a rush. This is probably my favorite pickup of the entire show. Definitely not the most valuable by any standards, but really cool. I like oddball stuff, it's my favorite tag team. Those, you just don't come across that kind of stuff very often. All right, next up, uh, Scott Castleman. I I previously bought um, some stuff from him and, and showed it on a video. I think it was probably about a year ago at the Collectibles on College Tempe show, and he sold me a Scotty Pippen 8889 Fleer for like 10 bucks. Um, I got two cards from him. He cut me a deal on these. I think I got both for 20. But Chris Mullen, I believe it's, uh, yes, yeah, second year Chris Mullen and second year Dumars. Um, I believe these are second year. Yes, yes. Second card. Um, but both Hall of Famers, Hall, Hall of Fame basketball players. Uh, both, you know, PSA 6, PSA 8. I'm happy with that. Add those to my graded FLIR collection. Um, all right, moving on. So thank you, Scott. Shout outs to Scott for those. Good dude. Um, let's see. All right, I'll do this. This is my baseball. This is the, the, the most expensive pickup of the show. I did not buy this. Um, there was partial trade. Uh, Adam in the Arizona sports card group on Facebook, who I've made, you know, made a deal with and bought some stuff from him in the past. I, uh, I made, I made a deal with him and he owed me a little bit. So he came to me with a proposal. Hey, what do you think about this? And I said, yes, please. Ken Griffey Jr. rookie, PSA 10. They are going between 125, 130, and 170 right now. Um, I don't do a lot of baseball. I have like 12 graded baseball cards in my collection, uh, but I did not have a Griffey Jr. rookie. I planned on getting one at some point. I wasn't going to pay for a nine because I think nines were going for like 30 bucks. Uh, I, so I was probably just going to settle for an eight. I do a lot of eights. Um, this is, I'll, I'll take it. I won't get rid of it. I'll leave it in my collection and um, it's worthy of staying in my collection. One of the greatest baseball players of all time, worthy of being in my collection, even though I don't do a lot of baseball. And he did have two graded cards that I bought from him while I was there. One, Chris Collinsworth, 82 tops rookie, PSA 7. I did have this a couple copies raw, but I did not have it graded, and now I do. Not a Hall of Famer, but obviously a notable, and he's still commentating now. And, uh, and here we go, 2012 Topps Chrome Russell Wilson Rookie Year, Topps Chrome Rookie Jersey. It is only a PSA 6. Once again, those of you familiar with the channel know I don't really care about grade that much. I like the card and I like the slab. So uh, great deal, great price. Rookie Russell Wilson uh, Chrome Jersey, very, very nice. Um, Russell Wilson's very, underpriced right now just because he had such a bad year bad first year in denver um he's still a first ballot hall of famer even if his career is over even if he never does any even if he doesn't never has a good season ever again he's still a first ballot hall of famer uh and worthy so all right moving on um three unknown sellers yeah so i had three three different sellers that didn't really have any marketing or promo or I didn't ask or whatever and I just kind of threw them all in the same in the same pack here uh, Josh Allen rookie not the quarterback but the defenseman who's really good actually TJ Hawkinson rookie uh, got Valerie Botas uh, uh, emerald or sapphire base 
from 2021 Formula One. Uh, a 2022 refractor, Yuki Tsunoda. Uh, 2021 black and white Ray Wave of Guan Yu. Um, James Allison, uh, Sapphire 2021. I don't know what this is. Uh, uh, yellow, I don't know. But it's number to 199. So typically I wouldn't do it, but it was a dollar. So why not? Mark Ingram, refractor, rookie. I think I have a uh, base graded either a PSA 8 or 9. Um, I did not have a refractor in the collection, so why not? Uh, Randy Moss Hollow from last this last year. And a Terrell Suggs Hollow, so a bunch of optic. There's going to be a lot of optic coming up here. Um, shout out to Jay Mankey. He's at almost every show. Very, uh, very good dude. And he cut me a great deal. I got some cool stuff here. So mainly the one in the back, I'll go ahead and show the, the first couple first. So Brett, I, I, I'm not really a big fan of Brett Favre, especially after recent you know, knowledge has come out. But nonetheless, I love Action Packed. Uh, and it's a prototype. I have a prototype for Aikman of the 93 Rookie Update graded. Now I can add the uh, the, the Favre to that collection there. Uh, Adonis Classics 2001 LT. These are numbered to 1425, so not particularly low, but it's good old LT, a numbered LT from you know early 2000s. This was the the pickup right there, action packed. Connie Hawkins autographed. It was autographed from the box. You could pull these in 94. The 94 or 90, 90, 94, yep. So game uniform worn by Hawkins in early 70s. It shows the photo. It's got a, it's got a little thing over here. Um, very, very happy to have this silver ink, beautiful. And uh, one thing that Jay mentioned is that he doesn't usually sign his entire name and the number. So that's pretty cool. I, you know, gotta love it. So action packed, pack pulled auto, silver ink. I love me some action packed. The embossed, the, the, the gold foil. I wish we still had action packed. Um, so thank you, Jay. All right, moving on. Greg Phillips from Santan Cards. Got some stuff here. What do we got? I have no idea why I picked up this Strohmile Smith, uh, Strohmile Swift, um, Topps Chrome Rookie. I mean, whatever, it's Strohmile Swift. It is a numbered Topps Chrome Rookie, one of the, I think, two straight years where they did numbered rookies. And I'm gonna blow by a bunch of the optic, uh, not numbered, the pink, uh, Blake Griffin, and then a bunch, I got tons of these from multiple sellers. I think this is from the optic box sets. Uh, factory sets and they have a cool kind of prismy whatever it's called finish on it but so I just got a bunch of them Carmelo DeRozan Porzingis Kawhi uh, Gilchrist Alexander I got a Ben Simmons purple from last year this year uh, Dragic blue laser blue velocity I always forget what they're called um, heck of a haul so far I still got a lot more to go all right, next up, unknown seller from Vegas. <laughs> okay, so um, story behind this. First, I might as well do this one first. I have no idea what this is from. WWF Tatanka Hologram. Those of you familiar with the channel know I am a huge 90s hologram fan. It is not in good shape. It is beat to hell. But you know what? I picked it up anyway. I don't care. It's still cool. How cool is that? You can't beat that for 90s inserts. I mean, you eh, you probably can, but this, this is what I was very excited about. Uh, when I was, hmm, I guess I was eight. Um, my dad took me to a card shop when I was a kid. I saw this Upper Deck Team MVP holograms. I think it was $30 MSRP back in 93, and he bought it for me, and it, uh, remained in my collection for the most part. It got the cards got really messed up and really, you know, dented and corners were all all messed up and stuff. So I mean, it still goes for like 40 brand new, still sealed on eBay. So it's not like it's an expensive set. It does have 
little Michael Jordan action right here. Hollow. Um, you can see the corners have some pretty, pretty rough wear and tear on them down here, but it's got the Jordan. Um, a lot of Hall of Famers, Dominique, rest in peace, Reggie Lewis, Larry Johnson. Um, it's got a Alonzo Mourning and Shaq rookies. Glenn Rice was a, was a PC when I was a kid. Barkley, Mitch Richmond was a PC when I was a kid. David Robinson. Um, and then we got, we got some rookies in the back here. There was the team MVPs, you can see down there. And then there was the future MVPs. So some of these turned out to be something and some didn't. Cucliata had a decent career. Obviously we know this guy's got a lot of rings. Um, Leitner, not so much. Baby Jordan, there's good old Zoe. And Shaq Daddy. So really cool, I'm happy to have this. It just brings me back to when I was a kid because I owned this when I was a kid. Uh, the one I owned, you know, I didn't really take care of it very well, but it's probably, uh, it was probably in much worse shape than this is. But very, very cool set, absolutely love these. I have the Jordan graded. I picked up the Jordan graded, I think in a six. Um, all right, next up, pick this up from Showtime Cards, the Tucson Showtime Cards, not the Tempe Showtime Cards. Uh, Manning the Booth was Tucson Cards on Instagram, and um, he hooked it up on a great deal, as he always does. My, my last Tempe Collectibles on College video, uh, he hooked it up. On some on some cool stuff, so let's go ahead and go through here. Um, I don't know what that's called, disco something not numbered. Larry Nance Jr. Pink uh, Velocity ceiling number to 79. Lamarcus Aldridge ceiling number to 199. Orange uh, Fultz rookie Lowry the oranges oh 199 there. Um, red numbered to 99. Uh, I'm just gonna flip through a bunch of these. John Wall, he kind of fell off. Um, oh, I'm skipping stuff. Hardaway Jr. Purples, I don't think those are numbered. Blue is numbered. Oh, that one's numbered to 59. I don't know who this dude is though. I don't know if he's, you know, still in the league even. Murray, Randall, Gobert. Uh, I think one of those is numbered. No, maybe not so much. T, 199, 149. Um, some more hollow. So some of these are bigger names, some of them are not. There's one, one of 99 for Rudy Gay. That's kind of cool. Not numbered. So yeah, that stack was from Tucson Cards at the Showtime, Showtime Cards booth. So shout outs to him. Uh, you know what, I'll do this. Look who else was there. They hooked me up with a pen and a bunch of stickers. I love Com C. I absolutely adore Com C. Um, I only have about 120 cards in a port right now for sale on Com C, but I've bought tons of Com C cards. In fact, subscribe because this is going to be a future video I just received on Tuesday. A huge Come see order that's graded, and that's all completely full of raw, almost little 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 wiggle room. Hundred and I want to say it was 179 items from Com C. So lots of refractors, lots of uh, here. I'll show the top cam. That'll be much better. So this is going to be a video. I'll, it probably won't be out for a couple weeks because I gotta I gotta edit it. But I'll do the opening on that. But I love ComC. It was very nice to talk to one of their one of their members of their social media team. I don't remember whether they were both part of the social media team or just one of the two was, but they were both very friendly and I gave them a lot of praise. Uh, I love ComC. All right, moving on. Uh, ship my cards, which I'm pretty sure when I had an eBay store a while back ago, I did ship them a bunch of stuff. They do. Uh, they do international shipping, so people who want to order cards uh, from the U.S. and eBay, they do. They have them shipped to ship to my ship my cards. What's it called? Ship ship my cards. Yeah, and uh, and then they'll ship them out there. So they kind of operate similar to a Com C, but for eBay. 
So this is just a bunch of random stuff from, uh, once again, another dollar box. Uh, I got a couple F1 of this guy. I don't really know if he'll make the jump to F1 or whatever. Uh, Giovinazzi, not, not racing anymore. Uh, a random, completely random pink. I don't know. I don't know if he's any good, but it's a rookie. Uh, I, I spotted these and I, I pointed these out in previous videos, but notice there is no 1981-92 in the top and the bottom on the logo, which means these are uh, European, either Spanish or Italian. That is, that's Italian, I think. No, uh, yeah, that's Italian. That's not Spanish. Um, but I, and then, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was, that was that one. And the numbers are black on the back instead of green. Um, but then there's a Hakeem Olajuwon. That also looks Italian. Times two. Patrick Ewing. Italian. Then we're moving on to 9495 Collector's Choice. More upper deck and it looks normal, right? Nope. That is also multiple language. That is Spanish right there. So a 9495 Barkley Spanish, uh, Sean Kemp, those are Spanish. I don't know, I'm gonna say international because I'm not gonna look at the back of every card. Some Sean Kemp and some Barkley. All 9495 collector's choice. I always pick those up when I see them just because they may not be like super expensive or super rare, but they are very uncommon. And so especially of Hall of Famers, they're gonna have a, a priority, you know? A, a base American would probably go for 40 cents, 30 cents. But the Italian, probably three, four bucks. It just depends on how many are available at the time. Uh, and then we move on to 9697 collector's choice. And that Barkley, that is, it looks like German. Yeah, I think that's German. So, okay, I'll take international cards. Um, also, oh yeah, these were in the quarter bin. And then three Ray Allen rookies. It's very hard to pass up Ray Allen rookies at a, at a quarter a pop. Um, also, same seller. That was one of two bags. Oh, what am I at? 27 minutes, my goodness. That's before the, the video too. I. Woo, all right, um, we got a bunch of 92-93 golds. Hakeem Olajuwon, Reggie Miller subset, Hakeem subset, Hakeem subsets, Magic Johnson subsets, two different ones. 93-94, so Shaq's second year, Topps gold subset, Pippen subset, Barkley subset. I love myself holograms. I have a bunch graded in raw already, but I can't pass them up, especially at a quarter. 91-92 uh, award winner hologram. 92-93 award winner hologram. Larry Johnson times three. Uh, more action-packed Larry Bird from that 94 Basketball Hall of Fame set. Uh, that says 93. I I don't know. They made two different action-packed Hall of Fame sets. I can't keep track. 96-97 profile Sean Kemp. He seems to not be able to have control over his guns recently. You fix the focus. There we go. Um, for a quarter a piece, I'll take Tracy McGrady rookies. Hall of Famer, okay, I'll take them. Uh, I wanna say 97, 98, tops 40, Patrick Ewing. Uh, 99, 2000, it says it right here. 2000, 2001, Grant Hill, tops grown base. Uh, 2000, also 2000, 2001, uh, tops heritage. I can't remember what basketball design this is. Somewhere in the, in the 60, the 70s. I, I can't remember. Um, 2007-2008 kid base. And this I picked up because I don't know what it is. It's 96-97 Collector's Choice. Uh, they had a whole stack of them. They are smaller than normal cards. They do not have multiple languages on the back. And it's number 20 of 48. So I'm going to put on screen what this is so that you guys can learn with me. But I picked up good old Timmy Hardaway, one of my all-time favorite point guards. Uh, recent Hall of Fame inductee. Um, and then moving on, we have some optic color here. Rudy Gay um, Pulsar. I don't know, not numbered. 
Seth Curry, Paul George, Porzingis Circles something, um, Holiday, Double Carmelo, uh, very cool, all right. Um, and that's it for that. Uh, all we have left is two gigantic boxes of mostly optic football and basketball. Shout outs to Tony Card Buyer on Twitter. Gave him a follow. He had a 10 for a dollar box that was gigantic. Several 10 for a dollar boxes, I think. Um, and he hooked me up even better on top of the 10 for a dollar. So I just, he said, make a big stack. I made a big stack. We worked something out. Fantastic deal. So let's go over that. Let's do, uh, let's do the football first. Oh, this is, this is the beginning part of the football right here. <laughs> I put him off to the side. Uh, Jordy Nelson, Topps Chrome rookie from 2008. Yes. And 2015 orange retail refractor, Devontae Parker rookie. So very nice. Um, and then, <clears throat> and then all the rest of the football that I got from him is, uh, is all, oh, there, okay, right here, is all optic. So starting off, I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> here we go. Um, I'm gonna try to whiz through a lot of this. Uh, well, there's a lot of young players in here. Uh, mo most of this stuff is going to be 2020 or 2021, which was last year's, because we, we optic for this year should come out soon. Um, I don't know. I can't remember. But yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Anyway, um, a lot of this is young players. I'm just going to stash them. Uh, if I have dupes, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll keep the good condition one, get rid of the rest. There's a lot of base in here, too, because he cut me a deal, and just because it was so cheap. I don't usually do base when I'm looking through dollar boxes. I'll just do color, uh, just because base is too easy anyway. But when they're 10 for a dollar, why not? Um, but anyway, Tannehill Hollow, Nassib Rookie, uh, DeForest Buckner Rookie, uh, a bunch of random stuff. I think those are like purple, purples. Good old Christian Hackenberg, everybody's favorite. Um, so there's going to be a lot of garbage in here too, but Christian Kirk rookie, uh, some color, and I, yeah, I did put these in order by card number um, so that I could tell uh, what I have dupes of and stuff like that. So uh, here we are. I'm just going to flip through. Chase Claypool rated rookie. Rondell Moore. Landon Dickerson. He's pretty good. He's made a Pro Bowl already. Um, let's see, Rashawn Slater, he's made, I, I know he's made a Pro Bowl, I can't remember whether he's made an All-Pro, he might have made an All-Pro team as well. Rashawn Slater's a beast. Um, I don't only do like top-notch skill position, I love uh, defensive players, offensive linemen, you know, I'm, I'm equal opportunity up in here, I'm not all about quarterbacks, running backs, and wide receivers, so. <laughs> um, moving along, those were all optic preview color. And then here's the regular optic for the year. Um, Alan Robinson, Earl Campbell, very happy to have that. I'm much more excited about the Hall of Famers than I am the current players. As regular viewers of the channel will probably know that. Chris Godwin I am excited about. Steve Young, very cool, hollow. Joe Montana, hollow, very nice. That was a third of the op Donruss optic football from him. Here's stack number two, Kadarius Tony rookie, Devontae Williams rookie times two. I don't know what I'm doing with all these Kellen Mons. Nico Collins rookie, Patrick Sertan, Sertan, Sertain, I can't remember. Everybody says it differently. Penny Sewell, absolute monster. I hope he does well. More Rashawn Slater, I'll pick those up all day. Uh, and stack number three, last stack of football optic here. Saint Samuel, Boogie Basham, a bunch of Asai. So I don't, I don't know a lot of these guys just because they, you know, some of them may not have had a lot of playing time. Um, it's always too early to know. You never know. You know who's really gonna be good and who's gonna be like a who's gonna end up being a Hall of Famer So a lot of those will just get stashed and then I will come back I will revisit them in five to ten years 
that's exactly what I did with Topps Chrome. That's why I have such a great raw Topps Chrome collection is because I just will go and visit my old Chrome and see what I have. And then this is all optic basketball. So starting off with a Kuzma rookie. Um, and I got a lot, a ton of these, which I believe are the, the, the factory set, factory set optic, whatever that came out that has a cool effect. Uh, a lot of them. So I got some base and I got those and I just pretty much picked up everything because that's, you know, if you're, if you're going 10 for a buck and if you're even giving me a better deal on top of that, I'll pick up everything. Um, well, I don't know a lot of stuff about a lot of the current day basketball as well. I mean, of course I know the stars. I'm watching Sports Center. You know, it's hard for me to get through full games. I probably mentioned that on every video now. It's probably annoying. But, uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't really watch full games anymore, but I watch highlights. And um, yeah, so who knows? Who knows who's gonna end up good here? We know a little bit, but sometimes guys take a while to grow. You know, look at look at a guy like Ben Wallace, right? Absolutely loaded 96-97 class. Kobe, Marbury, Iverson, John Wallace, Samaki Walker, Steve Nash. Um, I know I'm Ray Allen. I mean, there's a ton. Kerry Kittles. There's a ton more, and I'm probably forgetting a Hall of Famer in that group, too. But, like, no one expected Ben Wallace to be good. It, three years into the league started showing some stuff so you never really know who's gonna who's gonna who's gonna come out and just start dominating and, and end up being a, a fantastic player winning a finals going to the hall etc all right probably another three stacks here of optic basketball lots of rookies tons of rookies tell me if any of these guys are any good or promising tell me what you think in the comments because I don't know most of these dudes the the these young guys these rookies this is 20 yeah 20 2020 2021 so I mean they've been in the league a couple years me I'm sure a lot of these guys are out of the league here we go we hit the vets all right Paul George um, Embiid, Anthony, Butler times three, DeRozan. Two more stacks, everybody. Rosen, more, more DeRozan. Steven Adams, probably my favorite player in the league. Tomorrow Jr., AD. Bridges, Ingram, Barrett, Lowry, um, Russell Westbrook. Not there's not a lot of numbered stuff here in this. In this ten for a dollar box, I just I don't really care. These are cool. I will pick up optic color just like I did Topps Chrome, uh, Anthony Towns uh, times a bunch, <clears throat> Walker, Aiton, Jokic. Oh, Caruso, yeah, Caruso. I like Caruso. Um, number to one forty nine. So there's a numbered numbered optic here. A bunch of Chris Paul, um, and one final stack of Optic Basketball, Kyrie, Crybaby, um, Holiday, everyone's everyone's favorite effort player, uh, Blake Griffin, Booker, Leonard times three, Jalen Brown, um, Harden times a couple, a Durant, some Lillard, three Lillards, Wiggins. Oh, and then one card from this most recent year, 2021-22. A Leonard Purple. <laughs> so let me uh let me stick all these back in the box. I can't I can't really quite spread everything out with these huge stacks of optic. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about some of these guys that I picked up um, on the optic basketball, because those guys I, I don't really know much about. So, but that's the haul, and that's a hell of a haul. Um, I definitely can't get it all on camera, but I got a ton of graded stuff, including Hall of Famers, future Hall of Famers. I got the Connie Hawkins auto action packed, uh, the Ken Griffey Jr. PSA 10 rookie. Um, I got some Formula One, 
uh, it's just th so much stuff here. I'm very, very satisfied. It was very cool seeing Com C. Uh, I had to work some, some time today on the Sunday, but my plan was to bring some stuff to Com C and drop it off and get the whole, you know, nice, nice little deal they had going on uh, for submissions. Unfortunately, I just didn't have enough time. Probably one of my most excited pickups right there, the Road Warriors. Good old Legion of Doom from 86. Super happy to have that. So fantastic haul. Thank you to all of the dealers. I tried to give you guys all shout outs. Um, I, oh, I can't remember. Did I say Tony Cardbuyer from Twitter? I can't remember whether I said it, but he's the guy who got the massive amount of 10 for a dollar stuff from. Um, thank you for watching. If you want to see more of this content in the future, I do a lot more of the show walkthroughs. Uh, I've been going to shows quite a bit recently. Uh, you can check out the Instagram and the Twitter right here. Ding! You can also check out, you know, my collection, which is mostly tops, though I have gone to the dark side to do some optic recently. Um, and also hit the like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. I don't, you know, I don't really aim for numbers. I make videos for me which is why I usually ramble. I don't cater to my audience. So if you like it, cool. Tell me, let me know that you like it. Uh, and give me a like and a subscribe and all that. And, um, and I'll see you in the next vid. Have a great day. Peace.